Hi everybody, tennis coach Robert here from just outside the uh, tennis courts here at the North Pinellas YMCA. Thanks, I'd like to thank the North Pinellas YMCA for having us uh, film here. We're outside because everything is closed, but wanted to be closed by the tennis courts as we, uh, we are here in these um, times where we have to uh, do things a little differently. So we're going to talk about the racket swing path, contact point and how the racket ha travels. Okay, so the racket is going to travel basic uh, differently depending on the type of shot you're going to hit. Okay, so I'm talking about a forehand drive. So uh, there are many ways that you can hit a tennis ball. Uh, so, and we're talking about top spin here and the, and the forehand drive. So I have two types of balls here, and then this is going to be the racket pathway. Okay, so. Um, what I generally see from players who are talking about hitting topspin and they talk about low to high is something along the pathway like this. They just do this and I see this and the racket finishes right over the shoulder and they do something like this. Okay, this is a kind of shot that I would hit if I were hitting a lob, topspin lob. Okay, my follow through might even go behind my back. Okay, so I go straight up like this to create a lot of topspin. Okay. But I'm not creating a lot of force to make the ball go forward. So I'm creating a lot of top spin by coming up here. Okay. And the thing that a lot of players will do and that I see is that they don't use the legs at all. So they're just doing this. So this becomes the windshield wiper and it comes up straight like this. And I'm primarily using my arm. Okay. So the focus is on the arm. Now, if I were to hit a short angle top spin ball, I may do that as well. Okay, but generally speaking, something like this, I'm going to be hitting a running topspin lob. Okay, so it can be done for a short ball, short angle ball, or for a topspin. But if I want to drive the ball and hit the ball, you know, farther away and straight uh, with some topspin, I will then go ahead and I will bend my knees and I will hit along this pathway. Okay, so I come bend my knees and up. So. This is going to be similar to what I was talking about using the squat or lunge, using this motion here or a low motion along this line. So we get into this position here, you're sitting down, your legs are, and then you're coming up using your glutes. Okay. And this is important because when you look at tennis players, you don't have them have big, big arms. Yes, they have big forearms and so on, but if really big arms, you know, bodybuilder type massive arms that means you're using those muscles a lot okay and if I were using this motion and just using my arms my arms would be huge okay but when we look at tennis players what we notice is the legs and the glutes are very very big and well defined and strong so that means they're using this motion much more than they're doing this motion here so we want to avoid this here as much as possible if we're driving this motion can be good for again lobs and short angle shots but if we're driving the ball we're going to be using this motion here and what I want you to notice with this motion low to high so we're down here low and coming up to high low to high it's a gradual process and when you look at professional tennis players when they finish most of the time they're going to finish up and they're going to finish across the body it's very hard for me to finish across the body like this if I'm going up. I'm generally going to finish on top of my shoulder. If I go along this pathway, I'm going to finish across my body. Okay, and there are going to be times again where the racket comes up if I want a little extra, but for the most part, I'm going to hit and my racket is going to finish from around this area to around my, my hip area right along here. That's where most of the tennis players today are finishing with their strokes okay this is just using my arm even if I bend my knees a little bit I'm coming here and all my force is going straight up when I want my force to go towards the to hurt the player okay by hitting the ball deep and hitting the ball with some pressure these generally the result is that the balls end up being short inside the service line or what have you and you're hitting with a lot of top spin the balls aren't going anywhere you're working harder and harder using your arms and the tactical issue is that the ball barely gets past the service line. This one here, we're still brushing up on the ball. I want you guys to notice we're still brushing up on the ball. So this is not a flat ball, even though it looks like this. 
we are using the legs, bending the knees and coming up, brushing this way and coming across. So this is what we want to do for most of our shots because we're using the legs and driving through to create depth and also to, so that we can push the player back and power. So you notice I'm getting all my power going up. I want my power to go forward if I want to hit the ball hard and I can generate enough spin with this motion here. With some players, you're going to notice that they're going to bend their knees and they're actually going to jump up on this one here, load and jump up. So you see many professional players bending their knees and coming up because they're brushing up on the ball, going forward, using their legs. So we need to make sure that we're using the legs. We work on the squat actions over and over to make sure that this is happening. Backhand, forehand, ready position to get ready to go after the ball. So we want to make sure that we're using the legs here. Okay, so this motion here I see a lot. Again, very good for lobs, topspin lob, disguised topspin lob, or a flat lob going up. This one here is very good for a drive, coming across the body and getting uh, more depth on the ball. But if you want to hit the ball short with topspin this motion, this could be effective. If you want to drive the ball, this one could be a little bit more effective. I hope you enjoyed this video and I appreciate you tuning in today. If you enjoyed it, please uh, subscribe if you don't already do that. It means a lot to me. And if you enjoy this video, uh, please share it with others and give it a thumbs up. And um, I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you very much. Bye now. For more information on Carbo Tennis, visit www.carbotennis.com. If you wish to email Coach Robert, please do so at robert at carbotennis.com or visit his Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash carbotennis. Tennis for the people. This video was an ADCI LLC production and was filmed at the North Penn Ellis YMCA located in Palm Harbor, Florida.